Hello friends, today we're gonna discuss this problem from Code Forces problem name here. Okay, so let's read the question statement first. Lokesh and Bolek uh, are about to travel abroad by a plane. Okay, so the local airport has a special offer such that they can choose any of your plane in which you want to travel, but the following condition should be matched. You can only take any plane if like if it is up to a passenger to choose any of the plane he want to fly and if the chosen plane has some empty seats available then the ticket for that plane would be x this amount so what you'll have to do here is there are only like only tickets uh, only ticket office of the airport already has a queue of n passengers in front of him and location bullock uh, have not stood in the queue yet but they are already wondering what is the minimum and maximum number of like uh, currency the airport administration can earn if all the end passengers buy the ticket according to the condition of the offer. Cool. So if you don't understand much, I will tell you in simple words. So what we have done there that there are n people in a queue. So this is n. Okay. And then there then m is the number of planes. Okay. That how many empty seats in each plane have. So let's assume you are going from Agra to Delhi via a plane and then there are three planes available. The first plane has two uh, seats empty, the second plane has two seats empty, and the third plane has also two seats empty. And then there are four persons who are standing in a line to get a ticket from Agra to Delhi. Okay, so now if any person get a ticket in the first plane, then the amount he has to pay is equal to two. I'll take it down to the drawing board to make it more clear. So let's assume the first person came and he said that I want to go in this plane, the plane A. So these are plane A, plane B and plane C. Okay, now if he said that I want to go in plane A, then he has to pay two like dollars let's say in the form of currency. And he want to pay two dollars and this seat get occupied now. Now this plane has only one vacancy. Now the second person came and he said that I want in this plane. Then he also has to pay what two. So the amount he has to pay is equal to the number of empty seats and become one. Now again third person came and he said I want to in the third plane and he had to pay one. Now if another person has to came he can like just pick any of them he can pick this one the number of seat becomes zero and he has to pay one. I hope you understand. So the maximum amount the like the airport agency will get is equal to this. If n is equal to four this is n like there are four people you want to go then the the maximum is such that the first person by 2, 2, 2 and the last person by 1 and the total is equal to 7. Now, how the minimum number will come? The minimum will come if the first person buy a ticket of size 2. Now, this become 1. Now, the other person will not buy the ticket from this but buy the ticket actually from this because if we buy the ticket from this, the total amount he just has to pay is only $1. So then the, the amount the airport will get is only one dollar and two persons are satisfied. So the next person came, he wants that only these two planes have empty seats. So he like take this plane, the number of empty seats become one and he paid two dollars to the airport. Now this person came and he tried to minimize the price. So he will take only from this and uh, he, he only paid one dollar. And uh, as you can see, then uh, this becomes zero. And the total he paid, the total amount the airport agency get is equal to 6. So the minimum is 6 and maximum is 7 for this case. So what you can easily see here is, for the maximum case, if the total number of empty seats available in each airport or each plane is given, we will first take out the maximum one at each point. And we will take out the maximum one, decrement it by one, and let, let's assume we make a multi-set, multi-set or a priority queue such that, it will always get out the maximum value in the maximum present in the whole planes available. So this will tell us the maximum is equal to 2. Then you will say that, okay, so we have got 2. Now this sheet decreased to 1 and we will push again this equal in the multi set. So now the multi set has 2, 2 and 1. And we will again find out what is the maximum. It will tell 2. So we will add it to the total 
and decrement it by one and push it again in the multithread and so on. But in the for the minimum, we will find out what is the minimum at each point. So that's the whole point of for this question. I'll take it down to the code now. I hope you understand the logic. So I will just make two multisets to find out the maximum and minimum at each transaction. So this is the minimum and that's the maximum. So what we'll do here is we will first take the input of all the MA planes and we will input what is the number of empty seats in the plane and an input insert at the plane empty seats in both the multisets minimum and maximum. Then for finding out the maximum value it can get we will initialize our total to zero then iterate over all the n people because n people want the seats we will always take out because this is the maximum one we will always take out from the maxi the, the first element and this is the first element we will increment our total and then what we will do we will delete this term from our multiset so how we will do we will, we will erase it from the multiset after this what we will do because this is the value we have erased and this is the total number of empty seats so what we will do we will decrement the total number of empty seats because we have taken one and we will only push back in the multiset if it's greater than zero that's why a person will take it now if it's zero then how there's no benefit to send it again in the multiset because it turns out to be zero on the greater one so, on. so if x is greater than or equal to zero then only we will push back this x again in the multiset and so on after that the total will contain all the total amount or the maximum amount the airport will get and we will output the total and same for the minimum i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention now thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye